You and Kevin uh, Warsh have been watching the Fed and commenting on the Fed for, for a long time as Probably well. Probably too much, yeah. Um, I mean, I have so many questions about this, and I'm thinking we only have an hour. That's, that was what just ran, ran through my head, listening to Oh, that. no, you know we're going to get through like, everything, right? That's what yeah. I thought again. And, but um, is, a, is the Fed still, isn't there the law of diminishing returns for what they're able to do? Have we hit that yet? I, I don't think, it looks like we haven't, because we got a pause, which bounced us in December, and then we got something more recently where, where, where there might be a cut, and it worked again. Is it going to always work just because it, it makes stocks more, uh, more valuable? No, one day it won't work. We proved in 2008, at, at some point, you start pushing on a, on a string. I'll say this. Um, I don't understand the, the Fed's monetary framework at all. I grew up in an era with Volcker and Greenspan Both where them. monetary policy was primarily used for countercyclical. And when the market, excuse me, when the economy started running too hot after a period, they would lean against it. And when it looked like things were softening and rolling over, they would lean against that. Now we have decimal point inflation targets like it's Armageddon if it's 1.432 instead of 1.65. Um, we're worried about inflation expectations five or tier and 10 years down the road. We have a 2%, 2.0, excuse me, uh, inflation target that uh, if we don't meet it, it's Armageddon. And I have trouble with that whole the, the preciseness of it and, and the attention to it. Um, as you know, Joe, we're in, well, you may not agree with me, but I think we're in one of the biggest productivity inflection booms since the late 1800s. Um, I am very confident that it's not being measured in real GDP. I'm also very confident I couldn't measure it, so don't think I'm arrogant enough to say, but I know that we have all these free products out there um, that don't measure in GDP. Just a couple of examples. Somebody at MIT did a study and said the average American would pay $18,000 a year to, to use the Google search engine. I know I'd pay more, by the way. Um, but here's, here's just one little anecdote. So in, in 2010, Americans took, I think, or globally, took 300 billion pictures. Okay, this year, we took two and a half trillion pictures. Okay, and the pictures this year on the phone in your pocket are better than the pictures you were taking with a Kodak camera eight, eight years ago. Um, and if you look at GDP accounting, all right, there is no accounting in value for those pictures. It, ha it has done nothing for GDP. In fact, you could argue since we used to go in and pay 50 cents per picture when we went to have them developed, that added to GDP and that's no longer in there. So that it now literally subtracts from GDP. And I could give you a million other examples. I, I, just, I, could, I agree 100% right. with you.